So you released a new library today, or a new package, or yesterday, or yeah, it was yesterday, quite late in the evening. Okay. Um, yeah, I think you texted me like at 10 p.m. or something, even later, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, it was it was quite quite a stretch. Had to get some things done right. Um, like one method was not working in the Java code, and I had the choice to either like copy 10 more Java classes or to, because I had to access some methods that were private, but then I realized I could hack it by using Java object reflection API to, to, to call private methods. And uh, then I, I got it resolved. So what is this mysterious library you're talking about? So this is an... This is an interesting topic. So I was trying at work to animate some some text, some numbers, based on a gesture. So you can imagine it's a common use case for financial charts that you can like drag over the graph and it uh, changes the number and everything. Or you have a circular slider where uh, where you want to display the value. Absolutely, I should know about this. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, um, and you did it. You did it a lot, as well. And uh, because of you, I know that the the best solution was to use the retext component from Redash, um, which we used, and it helped a lot. The problem of the text component is that the value of the text are children, and we cannot animate on the children. That's is that the heart of the matter. Yeah, right. So yeah. we should first talk about why can't we use a normal text? So in React Native, you can make any component animated by calling animated.create animated component, and then you can animate any prop if it's under the hood programmed correctly. But So I tried that as well, and I was wondering, um, would it work? Can I just animate the text itself of the text component? Um, but it was not possible. Mm. And I was also wondering why why was it not possible? It seems because the the text content of the text is not really a normal prop. It's more like a separate node. Yes. And to make it animated would be really complicated because you can you can like nest text and nest a text component inside another text component. Yeah, you can even put an image inside a text component. All these edge cases, which, which make it complicated. Mm. So this is why why retext was created, I suppose. Yeah. So in retext, we use a hack, but it works. I mean, it works pretty well. So we use the text input, and we animate the value property of the text input because here to display the. Uh, Text. So actually, you have a, you feel like you're animated, uh, animating a text component, but actually you're just uh, animating the value of a text input. And we try to do um, the styling to match uh, the text component, and you can also add your custom styles. But obviously, uh, I mean, it's a great workaround. It's better than nothing for sure. But obviously, it's not a text node. It worked pretty well. There was just like tiny bug where sometimes if you would like do the gesture really fast and really wild that like sometimes the text input bugs out and shows like some ellipses or something. Maybe I could have solved this way more way more easily, but I, I did the 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 only logical thing and I just forked the text component from React Native. Mm -hmm. So to support animation nodes. To support no, animated text. Animated yeah. text. Yeah. So it's called React Native Animatable Text. It's just a fork of the same code that powers the text component in React Native. And it's out now. And, well, how does it work? So I, I copied over all the Java classes and all the Objective-C classes and then the JavaScript implementation, which was in flow, so I... I wanted to change it in TypeScript, yeah. Wow. I'm sure it must have been painful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, it's, it had to be done. And it had to be done. Okay. Must have been said. So I typed script, which felt way more comfortable for me. And yeah, so all these uh, classes in, in Java are like in a global namespace, right? So you have to rename all the classes, mm -hmm. all the symbols. Yeah. That was, took quite a while. Wow. And then once I created a proper fork of text, all I had to do was just to, to remove the ability to pass in children and instead replace it by using a text prop so that you can pass in the text uh, just as a normal prop. And wow, it was actually anim animatable in the end and it solves the bug. Is there a chance that we see the, uh, capab a, cap uh, a way to animate text, so your component essentially, part of either the React Native Core? It sounds like there is no way to make it part of the current text component. So to take the text component from vanilla React Native and add this new capability, will it be possible? So no, it needs to be a separate component, right? And if yes, so the one you've built, is there like plans maybe to ship it either part of React Native or maybe part of Expo or to make it more mainstream or? Yeah, now that it's out, I'm kind of looking at uh, whether it will be perceived positively or if anybody even sees a use case. I mean, the differences are pretty slim, but I, I see some benefits in it. Um, like that now you can, for example, select the, the text. Um, could, could, yeah, could it be uh, an addition to the current text component, potentially, made as a contribution? Or no, it needs to be a separate component because of everything you mentioned? Well, while it's currently a separate component, I, I feel like there's, it's like 95% of the code is, uh, is redundant. So maybe it should just be like a parametrizable text component or like a text should accept two different ways of accepting the, the string. And one would be animatable. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not sure if like they really want to wanna go this way and like add another capability like that whether it will not make it too complicated. Um, I mean, it's a, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like it's a pretty important use case to be able to animate text values. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's, it sounds like a, a simple concept, but in this instance, I feel I had to go <laughs> quite a, a long way to actually achieve it. Well, it's mostly just like a design decision in in React Native that made this use case a, a bit harder. Um, mm. The benefit though is that you can now like ne uh, put an image inside a text and like support icons and stuff. So maybe this this use case outweighs. Um, the benefit of uh, being able to animate the text um, on the on the JavaScript thread. I'm interested because, so in Redash, we provide a nice workaround for it. So especially you mentioned the use case of graphs where we want to have moving values and so on. What tips it over when you're working on a project? What tips it over that, I mean, obviously it's a huge investment what you did to, to get it to work. Um, at which point you decide, you know, the return on investment is going to be worth it in terms of, okay, we're using retext from Redash and then, okay, no, it doesn't make sense anymore. What, uh, you know, made the switch to say, okay, we need our own uh, animatable text component. How do you make the decision? Yeah, I think there are different factors. Um, if you need to ship a, something really fast, then I would probably not... Uh, go this long way of forking everything and I would I would probably just live with the with the behavior. In this case I I could afford to be patient and uh, the deadline was not approaching so fast. Um, but it was still noticeable. Like my boss would come 
or or like my coworkers would come to me and they 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 were like saying yeah it's quite good but you know we see that sometimes they, it was like so subtle that they don't even exactly see uh, what was the problem but, but they could but, feel but you know that something is yes. off when nice. like some some text turns into ellipsis nice cool um all right and is it difficult to do the native code setup so to have like a setup where you can try on android ios and is that yeah. something you had experience with before i i i try to make some own native code for my own apps where you just inline it in your project in your android studio project you just write the code but in in this case since i had to ship it as a library um i had to research a bit how to do it in in this instance and well this uh, react native community bob project came to the rescue again mm. um it had a ton of configuration already set up so it uh, they help also with the native development absolutely oh wow okay and I and you know it. previously i thought if i wanted to make a native module like that since react native does not support sim linking i think still in 2020 they metro still doesn't support it that i would have to like copy over all the files or or like published on a, published it on npm and then install it again to to try all of this thing out but with the with with bob um they have made a pretty good configuration where um there's like a a, a norm a folder for just the the code that you want to ship and they also set up an example for you so you just have to start the example and you you can use the code without having to copy or sim link anything which is pretty great cool and easier than i thought all right so congratulations on releasing the first version what's next so did you already show it you know you mentioned your colleagues you showed the app so you already showed the new version of the app using of the the this component to your colleagues and they like it or is or is it so fresh that you didn't demo it yet well i I included it in in our app and well they they stopped complaining that's for sure. <laughs> okay. I I think now they they feel like this component is is working pretty well. But um maybe they they don't realize that it was maybe like a long way to uh to create but it something was such that, a big uh, investment to Yeah, I mean it it's just like expectancy that that you could do something like that so one would think <laughs> <laughs> one would think yeah but now it's i i think i i i sort it for good and now it's also open on github i put it out there yesterday evening so if you would like to try the component you can you can do as well i know it's not yet in expo um any plan to submit maybe to facebook core or to because again we're talking about i think a substantial use case being able to animate text but yeah so i want i want to first get a bit of feedback from the people to see if um if they see a uh, see enough value in that and then i'm definitely looking into like asking someone from from expo uh to to include it so I, i i think the process is to create like an rfc issue kind of type on uh on just the expo repo okay whether it, this capability will make it into the the core facebook repository probably not my version because uh it's very hacky uses some java reflection api um probably not facebook standard of quality um but yeah okay I, we can start with a hack okay so it's funny because you have this uh, whole theory about ha- being a hacker versus uh, an engineer and this time i feel like i'm the hacker because in redash i propose the workaround to animate text 
And then you did what an engineer would do, which is to really make text animatable. So here the roles have uh, switched <laughs> in this particular instance. <laughs> but but I'm I'm still amazed that because like retext, I was first using it just like not knowing the implementation. And only when I when I started using it more, I was looking at, at the code. And then I realized that wow, it's not it's not what I thought it is. This is actually not a text component. It's a it's a text input. And that you work around this problem of text not being animatable by using a text input. Quite frankly, pretty genius. I wonder how you came up with that. Mm, it's a good question. I mean, I don't remember because before building Retext, we were doing set native props, right? So we didn't have a way to animate uh, well, so we would cross the bridge set native props. And then again, we can do set native props to props and not to children. So I guess that's how the, the ideas of, of doing it on a text input came, came about. And then we did it for reanimated V1 and, and now in reanimated V2, but yeah. All right, so yeah, we'll definitely check it out. React Native animatable text. And hopefully I really hope that this capability, this use case uh, will be shipped either part of Expo or part of the Facebook core. So either your library or some, some version of it. I think you're selling yourself short. I'm sure you could submit a patch to the to the uh, React Facebook team. Very cool. Yeah, thank you. And uh, I'll, I'm, I'll be looking into that then. If, if there's uh, good feedback, I'll, I'll consider that. Cool.